Hello, my name is Wayne Kaplan. I'm a member of the Board of Directors of the Chicago Association of Realtors and a director with Spurry Van Ness Commercial Real Estate Advisors in Chicago. Recently, I had the opportunity to attend the NAR Mid-Year Meetings in Washington, D.C. Uh, amongst the many things that we had the opportunity to do on behalf of our members is to, was to physically visit many of our legislators, our congressmen, uh, on Capitol Hill in their offices to discuss issues that are important uh, uh, with regard to real estate, residential, and commercial. Um, as most people are aware, there are, there's still presently a tremendous amount of stress uh, and distress in the commercial real estate uh, industry. Um, the commercial real estate industry has suffered as much, if not more, uh, in, in some circles uh, than the, uh, even the residential industry has uh, during this economic downturn. And NAR uh, uh, and CAR and CAR are doing many things uh, to try to make sure, from an advocacy standpoint, that our legislators understand the issues. Uh, several of the things that uh, we were talking about with our legislators had to do with uh, liquidity in the commercial mortgage marketplace. Uh, there is virtually still to this day, uh, due to the banking, uh, the, the distressed banking situation across the country, uh, there is virtually no liquidity in the commercial uh, real estate marketplace. Um, as far as transactions are concerned, the very top of the market uh, is doing very well. The, those. Uh, Properties are generally bought and sold by institutional investors who have access to capital uh, and access to uh, Wall Street and the commercial mortgage-backed security, uh, securities industry. They have no trouble getting money. The bottom uh, tranche of the marketplace, the distressed, very distressed assets, those are trading in cash. But everything in the middle um, is mostly reliant on the banking system uh, still to this day to provide uh, debt uh, for these purchases. And most banks are not lending uh, for the average, everyday commercial real estate investment. The thing we wanted to make sure our legislators knew, or amongst the things, were firstly that the commercial real estate business creates a tremendous number of jobs and economic activity uh, for the overall economy. Uh, there's a tremendous, uh, as I said, number of jobs and, and GDP created by in both investors and small businesses buying, uh, developing, re and renovating uh, buildings. There simply isn't enough financing out there uh, from the banking system uh, for the average uh, investor or small business to, to be able to do this. So a couple of the things that uh, we wanted to make sure our legislators were aware of are, firstly, uh, there is a bill before Congress that will, uh, that suggests that credit unions will be able to lend more of their total, uh, their total balance sheet as loans. Right now, credit unions are only able to lend up to 12 and a half percent, or 12 and a quarter percent actually, of their uh, total assets in loans uh, to the marketplace. The bill that's before Congress uh, will allow them to lend up to 27 and a half percent. This is certainly not a beat all to end all. It's not going to solve the liquidity problem, but we'll, it will certainly uh, help put more money out there for commercial real estate lending. And not only that, but for business lending as well, let's say tenants who are looking to uh, uh, acquire space for their businesses. Another uh, venture that we put in front of our legislators was uh, to encourage banks to not foreclose on properties simply because a loan term is coming due. There are, it is very, very difficult because of appraised values being much lower than they were several years ago. It's extraordinarily difficult uh, for any commercial property to, appraise, property to appraise out right now uh, based on the loan that was previously given. However, there are thousands and thousands of uh, investors and small business owners who are paying their loans on time, but because their loan is coming due, they had a three-year arm or a five-year arm, um, they need to either refinance or pay the loan off. And many banks are foreclosing on borrowers who are paying their bills but they simply cannot get the property refinanced or paid off. And we at uh, NAR and at uh, Chicago Association of Realtors want to encourage our legislators to put a little heat on banks to extend loans uh, and not foreclose on them simply because the terms are coming due. There are many other issues uh, regard regarding the commercial real estate uh, markets and liquidity and accounting rules, but those were two of the things 
uh, that we wanted to make sure our legislators were aware of, and they both have to do with increasing liquidity in the commercial real estate markets. Uh, thank you for your time, and uh, thank you for being a realtor.